Papa. I call Paul Foster Bell. Kia ora e te mana whakawā tua rua. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa e ngā mema o te whare paramata. Sir, in speaking to this Passports Amendment Bill number no. 2 in this third reading debate, I want to congratulate the Government uh, and the Minister, uh, the Honourable Peter Dunn, for bringing in an incredibly sensible piece of legislation. Sir, it's been a long time coming, and New Zealanders are going to benefit significantly from reduced costs and reduced inconvenience in their passport applications and using uh, New Zealand passports overseas. So I'm probably the only member in this House actually who has ever issued a New Zealand passport. And on the occasions when I did produce emergency travel documents for New Zealanders who were stranded overseas in the Middle East, uh, it was often to do with the validity period. Uh, sometimes people lose their passports, but often um, the five-year validity period um, slips by very quickly and people find themselves stranded in an alien environment without a current passport. So this is a welcome measure. It is very sensible. We've had a lot of quality contributions from members of the House. I um, particularly enjoyed David Clendon's contribution on this, where he sounded somewhat like Murray from Flight of the Concords, the deputy cultural attaché in New Zealand, and that he was promoting that we should visit New Zealand and see New Zealand before we go overseas. It sounds like a tourism slogan from the 1970s, but in any case, in any case, sir, this is a very sensible measure from a very sensible government, and it does take a national government to get this sort of thing sorted out. It's a wonderful measure. I commend it to the House. I call the